Hi everyone, I'm Reiner uh, here at Robotours, and uh, what I want to show you today is, I have to get one, hold on. Um, uh, is uh, the slush engine and how it can control uh, different types of motors uh, from kind of all different size ranges. Uh, one of the cool things about the slush engine is uh, how easily it integrates with the Raspberry Pi. So if you want to do uh, some IoT, you know, motor controlled application, or if you just need to move motors around for, uh, you know, whatever, we've seen so many different applications already. Uh, this is a really, really great board. Um, now it can control steppers from all different sizes. Um, so for example, if you want to control like this little tiny thing, um, it'll work just fine. And I'm going to show that in this demo video. Or if you want to control, let's say, uh, let's say something a little bigger. We've got it covered there too. Now the slush engine light um, is uh, the second version of uh, the original slush engine. So the original slush engine was actually just intended as a robot controller uh, for a robot that we were making for someone. And uh, eventually we realized that it had some really good applications just because it was, it was so easy to use. Um, so we decided to develop it further and make it smaller, um, lighter, and also a little bit cheaper as well. Uh, and that's what we came up with uh, with this board. And we've been selling it for a while now. Uh, it's been working really well and we've seen it in applications that we didn't really expect uh, at all. So um, I'm going to show you a quick video that shows you how to use this board with uh, different size steppers. Um, and there's a bunch of tutorials online. Just go to robotours.com and you can see it all there. Sweet. Thanks. Okay, everyone. So this is our uh, test setup here. You can see we've got the slush engine, uh, Raspberry Pi, and Ethernet cable, which is hooked into my computer over here. Uh, and then we've got some different size stepper motors from this really, really tiny one, one with a gearbox, uh, normal 3D printer, NEMA 17, and then uh, one of the bigger uh, NEMA 23 motors. This is about as big as they get for NEMA 23. Um, uh, this is a 400 ounce inch one. Um, so the first thing that you're going to notice is there's actually no USB cable uh, coming into the Raspberry Pi and that's because the slush engine provides power for the Raspberry Pi. It actually provides a lot of power. If you want you can also run the Raspberry Pi display. There's a connector down here for it. Um, you can also put in a Wi-Fi stick and a keyboard and it's all going to run that stuff uh, without a problem while controlling all of these stepper motors. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to uh, move some of these around so that you can kind of see uh, what it looks like. So um, I'm just going to run the program uh, over here, which is, uh, again, it's just a simple Python script. Um, and then once we do that, uh, we're going to see some uh, nice movement in the steppers. So the first thing they're going to do is they're all just going to run. Just so you can see them running at a speed. So right now we're effectively telling them, you know, run at 200 RPM or something like that. Um, and you can see them all diff moving differently. So now the first thing we see here uh, is the steppers just moving back and forth. Now what you'll notice is it's accelerating and decelerating. The cool thing is the Raspberry Pi is not doing anything. Um, the Raspberry Pi just tells it to, accel to go to a certain speed and it handles all of the acceleration and deceleration automatically. Um, so the Raspberry Pi doesn't have to toggle step pins or do anything weird like that. Um, and that makes it very, very powerful. And it can do it to uh, more than one motor at once. Um, now, as I mentioned, each of these motors has a different tuning. Uh, based on its size and based on the amount of current. So this stepper is running uh, max right now. So now what we're going to see is a quick demo that shows uh, G-code interpretation. Uh, so what's happening here is uh, the stepper motors are all interpreting slightly different movement commands. So you'll notice that they're not moving in sync, they're all moving separately. Um, and that's done quite simply in the slush engine. And that's again because the Raspberry Pi doesn't have to do any work. It just tells it where to move and the stepper motor does uh, the rest of the work. Um, so this again is just kind of a simulation of what uh, some CNC G-code or 3D printer G-code might look like. And then it's just going to spin really fast. And uh, that's uh, the basic uh, functionality of the slush engine. Um, so what you can see is it makes uh, controlling stepper motors really, really easy. Um, and uh, you should take a look at the code. Uh, it's online. Go to robotours.com. Uh, you can go to the slush engine page. There'll be a link below. Um, and you can take a look. And it's also open source. So if you want to change things or mess around with things, you're more than welcome to. Thanks.